Welcome learners, today we dive deep into a fundamental topic for anyone in tech, the difference between MacOS, Unix, Linux, and Windows operating systems. Whether you're a developer, system admin, or just a curious mind, this comparison will help you understand how these platforms stack up, functionally, architecturally, and in real-world use. Let's begin. Let's start with a basic overview. Windows is a proprietary OS developed by Microsoft. It dominates desktop usage globally and is known for its user-friendly GUI and compatibility with commercial software. Macos, developed by Apple, is Unix certified and based on Darwin, which itself is derived from BSD Unix. Linux is an open-source Unix-like OS kernel. When bundled with other software like GNU tools, it becomes a full OS used in distributions like Ubuntu, Fedora, and Arch. So while Macos and Linux both share Unix roots, their user experiences and ecosystems are very different. Windows, on the other hand, is built on its own NT kernel. Here's a look at how these OSEs are built under the hood. Windows uses the NT kernel with support for Win32, Net, and WSL, Windows subsystem for Linux. It offers robust driver and backward compatibility. macOS uses the XNU kernel, a hybrid of Mach and BSD. It supports POSIX compliance and runs Apple's proprietary GUI stack, Aqua. Linux, on the other hand, has a monolithic kernel with modular support. It is highly customizable and often used in servers, containers, and embedded systems. From a UI standpoint, all three systems offer intuitive environments, but with key differences. Windows 11 focuses on integration with Microsoft services, multitasking features like snap layouts, and widespread application support. Macos Sonoma continues Apple's sleek interface tradition, with powerful features like Stage Manager and deep integration with the Apple ecosystem. Linux offers Choice, GNOME, KDE Plasma, XFCE, and more, making it ideal for customization but requiring more setup. Software availability is a deciding factor for many. Windows has most commercial apps, especially gaming and enterprise software, as Windows First. MacOS is excellent for creative tools like Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro, and development tools for iOS and macOS apps. Linux is ideal for development, servers, and open-source tools. There are some limitations in commercial software, though alternatives like Wine or Proton help bridge the gap. When it comes to development, all three offer terminal access, but the experience varies. Windows has Windows Terminal and PowerShell, which have improved. WSL2 allows native Linux terminal experiences. Macaw ships with ZH and a Unix-based environment, with native support for tools like Python, Git, SSH, and the Homebrew Package Manager. Linux arguably offers the best CLI experience, with full access to system internals, shell scripting, and open-source dev tools. Security and privacy are major concerns in today's world. Windows is targeted often due to its popularity. Defender and BitLocker are strong tools, but user vigilance is key. macOS has strong sandboxing, gatekeeper, and built-in encryption. It's less targeted, but not immune. Linux is favored in security circles due to its transparency and control. Many distros are used for ethical hacking and cybersecurity research. So, where is each OS best used? Windows shines in office environments, gaming, education, and enterprise software. Macos is ideal for creative industries, mobile development and design. Linux excels in servers, cloud infrastructure, embedded systems, and research environments. In the end, the best OS depends on your needs. Windows scores high for user-friendliness and software support. Macos offers a polished, Unix-based experience and strong security. Linux leads in customizability and development with improving software support. Licensing costs vary, with Linux often being free. Understanding the strengths and weaknesses of each OS is crucial. If you want a customizable, open platform, Linux is unbeatable. For a polished, Unix-based experience, MacOS excels. For compatibility and widespread use, Windows remains dominant. That wraps up our comparison. Don't forget, your choice should align with goals. Thanks for watching and keep exploring.